Well, after the break, a special kiss just for you. Well, before Richard went on holidays, he spoke to a number of stars, including our next guest. That is the lead singer of probably the biggest band on the planet in the 1980s. <laughs> Well, we are joined by a very special guest today, a man you normally see with a star on his eye, but today he is <gasps> unmasked. Paul Stanley. Good to see you, but I've got stars in my eyes. Ah, so okay. boom, boom. Yeah. Nice to see you, man. Yeah, likewise. It's, uh, you know, it's always a, a pleasure to have anything to do with uh, Australia. If I could be in two places at once, I'd be over there all the time. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's just my second home. Well, KISS have a big following all around the world, of course, here in America, and Australia must be a pretty close second or third, isn't it? You know, I mean, in some ways, Australia is just number one for me. You know, from the time we first came there in 1980 and we all experienced Kisteria, you know, it, it's been... That was uh, wild. I remember you guys out on a boat and there were photographers trying to get this, those first shots of what you guys really look like. That's right. And most of the time, they can only see our backs because we were with all the Australian penthouse pets. <laughs> so, uh, but it was, it was a, a great time. And now that uh, I've got my solo album and I've been on tour in America, I just said, you know, I've got to come come to Australia, so... Uh, it's only your second ever solo album. I remember the, the, there was a time when you all put one out this yeah, yeah. kind of the same time, right? Yeah, this is very funny because this one's called Live to Win, and it's actually 28 years after the first one, so I said, if I wait another 28 years, we'll call the next one Hope to Live. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. Obviously, a lot of KISS fans want to hear anything and everything you do, but is, is it a big decision to make, to, to step outside the makeup, if you like, and, and do a solo record? Not really, because... Um, you know, I mean, I, I retain what makes me who I am. And, uh, you know, whether it's on the album or playing live, um, my roots are Kiss, you know. So when we play live, we do Love Gun, we do Detroit Rock City. We also do um, things that Kiss has never done. We're doing Magic Touch and some things from Dynasty. And uh, got this great band. Everybody should be aware of the house band. This is the smartest thing you've done in a long time, if, I can, if I can tell you that. Absolutely. But the house band from, yeah. from the In Excess, Rockstar In Excess, yeah. and also the Supernova show, yeah, yeah. those guys are unbelievably fabulous musicians we are we've had such a ball doing these shows that you know I just didn't want it to stop so about midway through it I said is there any other place we can line up and the first <laughs> place of course that we thought of was Australia you still play like a few kiss for you know I was made for loving you you got to do that right? I gotta play you know I wrote those songs you know it's like my my uh, my naughty children you know I, I bring them along on the trip yeah. kiss is, is pretty much you and Gene these days is that fair to say um, I think that KISS is always the four members that are in it and there's no denying that the that we've been there the longest and, and certainly you know when a car goes somewhere somebody's got to drive so there are two people in the front seat. But you are very diplomatic. That, that, yes, vote for me. <laughs> Paul Stanley, vote number one. Yeah. Um, so Australia you come in, you come in, you bring in the band, you got the new album, yeah. you got a relatively new wife and a, a yeah. brand new son. I've got a, I've got a almost six months old now and uh, just a gorgeous little guy, and, and uh, my wife uh, of a year. We've been together five years, but uh, we, we tied it, and tied the knot, and made it official about a year and a couple of months ago. Life is good. Life is, you know, I couldn't be happier if I were twins. There you go. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. See you in Australia. Well, Paul Stanley and his band will be heading our way next month with concerts in Sydney and Melbourne. Tickets are on sale now. He does look like Michael Jackson, doesn't he? He does a little bit yeah. now that you know that I see him again a second time. <laughs> All right, let's get the little yes. news headlines now.